everybody, what's poppin'? Hope you're doing well. Back to you with a new video this time that's about Kubernetes. I just got myself the CKID certification and I'm really happy about this. And today I decided to make this video to share with you my experience and to give you some feedbacks. So if you are willing to get yourself the same certification and you don't know from where to start, this video is made for you. There are two criteria you should satisfy before enrolling for this exam. The first one is that you should have some IT backgrounds already. So you should be considering yourself from a mid-level to a high-level software engineer, developer, or architect. The second criterion is not mandatory, and it's about having some working experience on some application that runs some Kubernetes. The CKD is a two-hour exam with 19 questions. Mostly easy, there are some medium, and a bunch of hard, two or three. Not hard, but I would say a little bit more complicated than the medium ones. One thing is sure, if you are satisfying the first criterion and if you will follow the recommendation that I will be giving you in this video, there is no reason you will be missing even on one of those 19 questions. Just keep in mind that you don't need 100% of correct response to get the certification. All you need is 66% and you got the CKID in your pocket. Three good news about the CKID certification. The first one is that it's an open book, which means that you have access to all documentations on the official website. No personal notes, no navigation on other website. The second one is that you have a free retake if you miss it the first time, which of course you will never need it. And the third good news is that there are a lot of coupons that you can find on internet and I will be giving you one on the description below of this video so you can get yourself a discount of the initial price which is $375. You may be asking how I prepared for the certification. The answer, they believe it was one of the best and the fast way to achieve the CKID. So I'm here recommending Enroy for two courses. The first one is for free and you can find it on the official website. The second one will cost you around $10 and it's 100% worth it. I recommend it highly. Both courses will be covering the seven topics of the CKID certification, which are core concept, configuration, multi-container pods, observability, pod design, service and networking, and set persistence. So let's get deep into it and let's talk about the content of those two courses. The first course is an introduction to Kubernetes and its building blocks. This one will help you understand the main concept, the architecture, and get the big picture about Kubernetes. It is not mandatory for the one that satisfies the second criterion, the ones that have already a working experience with Kubernetes, but I will still recommend it. Anyway, it's for free and it will for sure help you refresh your memory. The second course is proposed by Mamsha Manamba on Udemy, and this one is especially based on practice. You know, lectures alone won't help you get the certification. As you can see, there are seven sections aligned to match exactly the CKID curriculum. Each section is made up of multiple small videos. Going through those videos, you'll notice that they are filled with animations and illustrations, which will ease and simplify you the learning process. Practically after each video, you will get a test with a list of questions that you will be solving directly on your browser on an online Kubernetes cluster. And this for the purpose of practicing and of course test the theory that you just learned. At the end of this course, you will have three sections to practice everything you've learned so as to be sure you are clearing this CKID. The first one is a game somewhat a serious game. It's a set of fun challenges, such as building applications and deploying them to Kubernetes clusters, fixing security issues, troubleshooting, doing some networking, and many more. The second one is Lightning Lab, with a set of relatively complex questions that you need to solve in a short period of time. So this one will help you to better manage your time and to be fast. Finally, within the last section, we'll get two marks exam that will help you to improve and conduct yourself for the real exam. So, first rule is to practice because the CKID is a 1% hands-on exam. The second one is to be fast because while two hours sounds a lot, you may not get the time you need to solve the 19 questions. I think now you may be asking how you can gain speed and be fast to solve those CKID exercises. The answer is so simple. You need to stick to the first rule. You need to practice. But not only, I'll be giving you in the next part of this video some tips and tricks so you can go through those 19 questions as fast as you can. Before moving to the tips and tricks, there are three prerequisites. First, basic Linux command. So for example, you should know how to list the content of a directory, should know how to grip or how to search. Second, you need to know how YAML file is structured. And the third, you should master your favorite console editor. For me, it's nano, but of course you can use VI if you feel more comfortable with it. So now let's jump to the tips and tricks and the list of golden rules to create the certification. Before going to the first question or even reading it, you should start by setting some Linux aliases and enabling the Kubernetes auto completion. Those commands are on a sheet on the official website and the link is just down below. 
Before any question, make sure that you are working on the right context. The command will be given to you on the top of the question, so make sure to copy pass and execute it. Read the question till the end. Always, don't forget, even if you feel or think that you are able to start giving a response without. Okay, now you've read the question from the start to the end, but you don't get it. Okay, no problem, go and read it again, but you don't understand this time either. No problem, don't waste your time, flag the F question and move to the next one. And guys, always keep in mind that understanding a question is half an answer. Okay, first question, you don't get it, no problem. You're moving to the second question, you don't understand it. Maybe there's a problem. Okay, no problem. Just relax. Keep calm. You are moving to the third question and you think this time you have the response. So, guys, there's a strategy I need you to follow for answering and solving all the questions. You're going to start by making your first try. You think you've solved it. Yes or no? If it's no, you're going to make another try. You've solved it? Yes or no? If it's no, you're going to flag the question. But if you solve the question on the first or the second try, this is perfect. You're gonna test your answer and then you're gonna directly move to the next question you understand. So remember, two tries no more and always test your solution. Almost all the time you'll be using the describe command so as to make sure everything is working as expected. Next step is to copy pass. Always copy pass, especially the things that are given to you on the questions like variable or object names. For some question, you will need to add a specific section to a ML file. So, again, copy past it from the official documentation, but always pay attention to the indentation because it depends on the type of the object you're copying from to the object you're copying to. So if you're copying from a path to a deployment, it's not the same indentation. Pay attention. How to search effectively within the official documentation? You can use the link on the description to import this ready-to-use bookmark to your Google Chrome, which will list you the only documentations you need for the security exam. So let's suppose that for a specific question, you need to add the volume mount section to AML file. So you're gonna go to the official documentation, volume page, and you're gonna control F or command F, and you're gonna look for volume mount with columns. So using columns will make you filter and go straight forward to the YAML examples. Practically for every question on this exam, you will be creating or editing YAML file. And there are two ways to achieve this. So doing things manually or using and mastering cube control commands like cube control apply, edit, create, and expose, which will save you a lot of time. There is a very powerful command, which is cube control explain. So you should learn to know how to use it. Last advice guys about a problem that you got, and I think everybody got it, but it's a certain level of course. It's about procrastination, so how to dodge procrastination. I will be suggesting to use your Google or Apple calendar so you can fix some weekly or even daily objectives, some milestones. And I will also suggest to fix a day when you think you will be able to pass the exam. When approaching this day, if you start thinking that you're not making it, you can change it till 24 hours before and it's for free. Now we're gonna discover the must-do task just before the exam day. First thing is to go through all your short notes. Remember, always take notes while preparing for the certification and especially take notes of cube control commands. Once you paid for the certification, you will be given two mocks exam for free on the official website. A piece of advice, one or two days before going through the real exam, make sure you are completing successfully those mock exams. The exam day, make sure that your desk is empty and clear. Nothing but your computer, an extra monitor if you need it, and a glass of water, of course, but a transparent glass of water. You will be sharing your screen, your mic, and your camera. All applications should be closed, except Chrome, of course. Last thing, but not least, make sure you have in your ID ready. All right, this was it, guys. I hope that was clear enough, and I shed some light on how to clear this certification. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will be happy to answer it. Keep in mind, there are three ingredients to achieve this certification. You need to have some time, organization, and of course, procrastination. <laughs> I mean, dedication. So I wish you all the very best to clear the certification and always remember, it's easy pie.